question is, what is it like being called as a witness for the defense in this case? Um, I don't know. I was surprised, I guess. The state had called me first, and then they um, canceled my subpoena. And then the week after that, this guy subpoenaed me. So, yeah, I was surprised. Were you? I mean, did you think that there was anything that you could offer Brooks in terms of a defense? No, not at all. I don't see why he would think I would help him out. So you you saw where that red SUV ended up, correct? Yeah, I walked into the. Yeah, we were we were leaving the parade, and I was just watching everywhere because I didn't. I just thought there was more cars. I didn't think it was just one person. I figured this has got to be something big. I didn't think somebody can do something like that. But um, so I was just keeping an eye out because I had my eight-year-old daughter and my wife with me, so I was worried for their safety. But um, yeah, I was looking and everybody was walking by, and I guess just a couple people that were standing out there in front of the vehicle just got my attention because everybody else was running and these guys were just standing there. So I look over and I noticed the vehicle, and then that was it. I told my wife, I gave her the key, and I told her, I know, get home as soon as you can, call 911. I'm going to run back in there to the parade and let the authorities know. I mean, over the last 11 months, have you kind of realized how instrumental that was to this case? Um, I don't want to sound funny or anything, but I didn't really, really haven't been paying attention to any of that stuff. But until I, my uh, wife was watching it and she had mentioned that um, Officer Moss had mentioned my name, they put it out there, and then that's when I started paying attention to it. When you were on the witness stand, did you feel like Daryl Brooks was prepared to ask you questions? No, I didn't think so. You think he was just winging it? I think he was just, yeah, I think he was just trying to get something, trying to get me to twist some words or whatever. I don't know why he would have me up there in the first place. And have you formed an opinion about his innocence or guilt? Oh, no, of course he's guilty. I mean, I saw him. I mean, it happened right in front of us. I mean, the vehicle was the right vehicle, and there's just, I don't know. And there's no doubt in your mind that he is, he is guilty. He I, said he's not guilty. Absolutely, absolutely guilty. What do you make of, I mean, it, we've, three weeks now, this trial has yeah. been going on. We're going to head into a fourth week. How do you reflect on that? Oh, it's just hard. Like I told my wife, the hardest part is just coming <clears throat> to see the families and keep repeating everything that you've seen and it's nothing is good no, none of it was good so I just feel bad for the families well thank you so much for your time I appreciate it as promised short and sweet thank you so much for your time